Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of This Week in the Dunya. Smile to Jenya. <laughs> As we know, France is the champion of women's rights. It's banned the face veil, the hijab, the burkini which most people didn't even know was a thing, ironically forcing Muslim women to stay indoors and not interact that much. But some women defied the ban as temperatures this week soared. But these women who likened themselves to Rosa Parks mate, they defied the ban and were willing to pay any price no matter how high it was mate. So they went in, pinned their burkinis and they were doing their thing like a chicken wing. Now that is amazing isn't it? Now imagine how much they had to pay. Yeah it was 31 quid mate. Yeah. What? 31 quid you d- 31 pounds? Yeah. It's the thought that counts and of course France retaliated by shutting them down mate. Shut down the beaches mate. It's too much controversy mate. We've got to keep these Muslims out. And the Dalai Lama mate, he's not helping the situation mate. I guess I don't really blame him because I think he's been hitting the spray again. <sighs> Meditation. Just say no Dalai Lama yeah? Just say no. Now talking of the hot weather, the UK just can't seem to catch a break can it? Through Brexit we've been trying to get rid of all these immigrants for about a year now and now even the weather is coming from the EU as well mate. Now I'm sure you guys know hot weather and the UK just don't mix. Our bodies just can't handle it mate. They just start shutting down. It's really hot for God's sake. It's 30 and granted in some countries it's 50. I think the main concern from the heat wave is the fact that by the end of it most of us are gonna start looking like brown immigrants and, we, and we'll probably all be in the queue waiting to get deported. Speaking of fitting the profile, here's another bloke that's brown and he fits the profile. Riz, yeah? Riz is a Muslim actor who's featured in movies like Venom, Star Wars, He's had to compromise a lot on his faith to make it on the big screen. But I guess it just wasn't enough. No matter how much he compromises, he'll still be seen as that brown guy from Four Lions. Wait a minute. He is that brown guy from Four Lions. Where's the Dalai Lama when you need him? <sighs> Meditation. Speaking of confused brown guys, here's what happened in the Pakistani parliament last week. Apparently they were live streaming and one of them and one of them and I'm not making this up left the cat filter on. So they were busy doing their thing whilst they had the cat filter on their faces. Now you'd think that these people would be embarrassed but no guys you gotta understand they're politicians. They don't get embarrassed. They're shameless. So this was probably a very good day for them. They probably walked out thinking yeah I think today was alright, it wasn't as bad as our normally is. Let's move on to Iran versus the USA. Now calling someone mentally retarded was standard in the playground when we were young. A lot of people say Donald Trump is mentally retarded but no one's got the guts to say it to his face. Until now. And that's exactly what the Iranian leader's done. Now how has the United States responded to this? The best and only way they know how. To threaten to bomb them into extinction. And oh yeah, Mike Pompey, classic guy. I, I, I was the CIA director, we lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's, it was like... He said that the United States has been sent by God to protect Israel from Iran. Let's ignore them attempting to overthrow more than 50 mostly democratically elected governments and trying to assassinate over 50 foreign leaders post World War II that is. I don't think that's God you're speaking to mate yeah? Check again, if he's got horns and he's creepy looking he's probably a buffalo or rhinoceros or maybe even Satan. Now while all this madness is going on our people are too busy fighting over borders and a game that the Brits have openly accepted to have invented. <laughs> yeah that's right, the border between Pakistan and Afghanistan was formed by the British and it's called the Durant line and it's caused issues for a very long time mate. 
and even the game of cricket. It was invented, yes, by the British. And there's many stories, but most of the stories corroborate the fact that the game was invented to distract people from the workings of the people of power. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not a hater of cricket. I enjoy a good cricket match, yeah? But enjoy the match. Whoever wins, wins. Don't let it consume you and don't let it blind you. You can't get Muslims fighting Muslims. For God's sake, what's wrong with you people? Alright guys, that was a bit of news. Until next time guys. <sighs> Meditation. Assalamu alaikum.